The preparations have gone really well. We've been doing some uh, two boat tuning down in here in Weymouth um, with a new coach and some uh, uh, quite good, well, good tuning crew and just developing some rig settings really. Um, so we're just looking forward to getting on the water at the Worlds and um, putting them into good use. We haven't really got any expectations. I mean, we've got a load of new stuff to test out. Um, we've got a new coach on board with Simon, so things are obviously very new and uh, this will be our first big regatta together. So just seeing if everything works as a team and, and making sure we're clicking um, is really the biggest thing. I mean, obviously we'd love to medal and come home with a piece of silverware, but we'll see how it goes. I think it's going to be a tricky event. Um, we've got a lot of the top guys coming, obviously being World Championships. Um, but yeah, my expectations are high. Uh, sort of had a really, really, really good year so far. Uh, better than I could ever expected. So yeah, looking for a medal, I think. Yeah, we've been to Conceal once before. Before uh, it was before Beijing um, Paralympics, and it was really good. A uh, nice open sea venue, nice sea swell running, and lovely countryside. And uh, could be anything from five to twenty-five knots. So yeah, looking forward to a good mix. We were third last year in Rochester before the games, so that was good. And we've medalled quite a few times in the past, so yeah, looking forward to our 10th Worlds together, so it'll be uh, good fun. Uh, the competition, the fleet's going to be strong. Um, there's, I think there's 20 boats registered, which doesn't seem a lot, but that's actually more than the Paralympic Games. Um, and some new, new crews coming along as well. The Kiwis have, got, have entered um, three GB boats, which is awesome, myself and two others. And um, the Aussies have travelled as well. And, you know, obviously the Paralympic champions are there. Uh, the Dutch will be looking to sort of try and... Um, try and um, relate rate ourselves to them and hopefully sort of put, put one up on them as well. Uh, yeah, the Parliament Games was really disappointing actually to, uh, considering the circumstances surrounding it, you know, to lose a medal actually from which wasn't in our control. But I think we've sort of um, gelled really well, you know, we've stayed together as a team, we've been strong um, and it's been great that we've had the back in the OA really and we took a few months off after the Games to reflect and see whether we wanted to do another com campaign together. Um, and we decided that we wanted to put the record straight. We, we, knew, we know we're a strong team, we just have to deliver at games time. Um, and that's what we're looking to do now. Yeah, I can't believe it was a year ago. I mean, so, so much has happened. Um, obviously got sort of caught up in all the aftermath, which has been absolutely fantastic. Some of the opportunities that have come up have been brilliant. Um, I, think, I think one of my biggest highlights probably got to be Wimbledon. Um, watching it from the Royal Box and Centre Court it was just, you know, so special. Um, and I guess, you know, since since then, over the year, we kind of, you know, obviously reviewed the games. Um, we're looking to, to move forward, move forward with the kit and stuff. Um, and also, you know, to, to get some experience, use this opportunity um, this year and maybe next year to gain some experience in some other classes and to sell with some, some other people. Um, which I think will be invaluable to bring back into the 2.4 because up until now I've very much been kind of just sell 2.4s and before then just 470 so my knowledge of kind of other classes um, is is quite thin so um, it kind of looking to expand that and um, and definitely you know, I think it will enhance my uh, 2.4 racing and tactics and and just general knowledge of rig setup and stuff. Uh, it's, the road is going well I mean like I said we've got a new coach um, we've medalled at a couple of events this year um, this is the key event for the year, IFTS Worlds. So, um, yeah, I think we're just all about enjoying it, enjoying the processes as well and just trying to get better um, with, with the main focus on Rio now. Um, obviously, there's steps along the way with the Worlds and the Europeans and things like that, but, you know, we're looking at the ultimate goal is now is Rio um, 2016. Thank mm -hmm. you.